AV on its way to help thousands of Haitians after a powerful 7.2 magnitude earthquake violently shook the country's southern region over the weekend, killing more than 1,900 people. The USS Arlington left Naval Station Norfolk just a few hours ago. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell was there for the departure and has more on the military's mission. The blowing of the horn, the loosening of the ropes, and one last wave. The USS Arlington is now underway, joining the disaster relief and recovery efforts in Haiti. More than 600 military personnel on board the massive Navy ship. Sailors, Marines, security forces, and others. Their mission, critical. Troops racing to help a country in desperate need following Saturday's catastrophic 7.2 magnitude earthquake that devastated part of Haiti's southern peninsula. The violent blow leaving hundreds dead, thousands injured, and many more missing. There's the danger of, of, uh, of just being able to respond in time. It's a heavily damaged area, and uh, I think there's, the need is going to be great, and uh, there are a lot of structural collapses. There's going to be a lot of uh, recovery efforts for uh, probably people trapped in buildings. The disaster coming at a time of crisis for the country that's still reeling from a presidential assassination and cleaning up after the impact of a tropical storm Monday night. Put that back on. Crews at Naval Station Norfolk loading the vessel with food, water, COVID and medical supplies and rescue equipment in less than 24 hours time. To be able to get, get on the ground and provide immediate assistance to people that absolutely need it uh, at a critical time where they're suffering. It's an honor to do it. The ship is well on its way, carrying some of the most basic needs. It'll arrive on Friday. Troops could be there as long as four months or more. This is one of our most satisfying missions that we do uh, because you get to, to see the immediate results of helping, helping uh, our, our friends and allies and uh, just helping people. It's, it's such a worthwhile and uh, important mission. It's one of the most rewarding ones I've ever done. In Norfolk, Antoinette Elbow, News 3.